What's going on, YouTubers? So I did get a package today. Unfortunately, it's only one of two. Somehow, even though shipped at the same time, my Predator Bust second box did not come with this one. And I'm pretty sure it's the base box because this feels lighter. So I think it's the head, which sucks. I was hoping to get the base first. But this box is the biggest box I've ever received. Easily. It's absolutely monstrous of a box. So... I'm going to open it up. I'm not doing an unboxing of this. It's too difficult, too big. So I'll just do a video review, but I'm going to show you at least the innards as I film it. So you can see. So this is the art box. Pretty cool. This box is absolutely massive. Makes sense why Sideshow's charging like $300 to ship this bad boy. Two of these. Yeah. If I was to ship this alone, this alone would cost me $500 to ship. But Sideshow gets those big discounts. So this is the Prime 1 Fugitive Life-Size Predator Bust. Really excited to see how good this looks in person though. So I'm gonna open this and let's see what's inside. Alrighty folks, so it was a big <laughs> cumbersome trying to just get this out of that box. I had to do it on the side, use one finger to push it out. But of course I did get the, the head. I gotta say, I'm extremely impressed so far. I think they've knocked it out of the park. The detail, the realism, it's very good. There's a good gloss look to it up here along the top part of the dome, but not this part, which I like. The teeth and mouth look excellent. The eyes look really well done. I don't think they're glass eyes, uh, but they're probably decals, maybe stickers, but they look really well. It did also come with the mask. So here's the mask. It does have like felt pads on the back because I know you can display it on it, which I haven't tried yet, but I, I'll i wait till I get the base before I try it. But this is basically what was in box two of the Predator. So I've owned one other Predator bust in my life and that was the Berserker Predator by Sideshow Collectibles. I've also seen many in person at stores, cons. You know, I saw a lot of cool prop predator bus and whatnot. I owned the Berserker Predator bus for probably four years. And it was really cool at the time. My big problem with that was the detail seemed to lack and it was too big. Where this one is a nice big one, but not as big. It's gonna have a great presence it has a better armor and base. So I, I can definitely say straight off the bat, detail-wise, this is better uh, than Berserker Predator. When it comes to detail, the dreads are better, the face is better, the mouth is more detailed, the teeth look better, uh, the mask looks better than the Sideshow mask. I love that mask. I think it's sick. And I actually really like the design of this Predator. And I actually really like the movie. I thought it was very entertaining. I love Olivia Munn. I like this Predator. He was super cool when he woke up and was just killing everyone. I loved that scene so much. So I'm quite happy with this so far. I'm definitely glad I went with this instead of Alita. You know, it was either this or Alita Deluxe. This is way better in my opinion. So now I have to wait two days before I can, you know, finish setting this up, which sucks, but it is what it is. So yeah, there it is. Get some close-ups for you guys at least. Look at that teeth, that looks great. I'm gonna say this is by far the best licensed Predator bust ever made hands down. It looks amazing, really does. And I mean, there's a lot of good customs out there, but the problem with customs is the material and it's not like complete. There's always like, it's just a head with a stick. And I hate that. I think for me, this is the best Predator bust ever made. The most complete best Predator bust ever made. I also noticed they did include a lot of extra dreads I'm assuming that's in case one of these broke off. You could probably just glue it in or insert it. So it did come with a bunch of extra dreads. Uh, I'm, I'm just assuming that. I don't know until, obviously, I get the remainder of this. But this is what came in so far. And so far from what I can tell, there's no damage. 
the dreads are covered there. So, so far, so good. Just gotta wait for the remainder of it. But pictures don't do this justice. This is way better in person. Alrighty, but everybody, here is the Predator bust all set up in the collection room. Let me know what you think. There is the mask. Looks awesome, right? This will be the base temporarily until I get it done. But at least we can see it good. Crazy, folks. This is quite heavy, I will say. It's definitely not a lightweight. I'd say that weighs a good 30 pounds. I had to completely move my shelf outward so I could open my door more to fit this box in here because I'm not going to tip this sideways. But there it is for now. Just waiting on box number two. Alrighty, everybody. So I finally got box two. Two days later, took double the time. Here's the box that came in. Similar to the other one uh, over there. So here it is. The big body came in there. A few separate pieces. You got the cannon. Uh, this piece, which I already put in. There's also a back piece. And there's a light up here. And I never even knew there was a light up in here. This piece comes off. And you press this button. And there's that light up. I had no idea this lit up. But that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in the other room and set this bad boy up and let's review it. This does not weigh a ton ton. You know, like it's heavy, but it's not like, oh my gosh, heavy, like it's super ridiculously heavy like the Berserker was. So let's set this up though. Alrighty folks, so here it is set up in all its glory. Now it was not easy putting that head on there. Uh, it took me a few tries, but eventually it went in. Some of the dreads basically touch the back and the front. But the dreads are slightly bendable, just very slightly. You know, not like polystone where they're going to be breaking. You know, my Berserker, I had some dreads break because they accidentally touched something. And so here he is. You can see him next to the Balrog, some one-fourths, another life-size bust there and one behind him. So he's definitely very, very big, you know. He's not Berserker Predator big, but he is very big. Much bigger than all the cool props Predators I saw. Very wide shoulders, good height, amazing presence. Things demand presence, so very, very cool. I'm very happy with it. Uh, there's multiple light-up functions. You have light-up in the laser, in the back part of them as well as in the mask. So, and then mask can obviously be displayed on him, which I'll show that to you guys later. Uh, first, we're gonna check out the unmasked portrait. So let's check out this base. So you have this giant predator plaque, just saying the predator, which is the name of the movie, which I have right there. So it looks good, I like the plaque. I actually am a big fan of plaques on bus. I, I really like it, you know. I wish like, for example, that said the Deadpool or Deadpool on it. You know, so I actually get metal plaques made because I like seeing plaques with it. I just think it makes the display look more classy. Great overall underbase. You know, you got different tones of copper, gold, all throughout. It's pretty much the same all throughout that look. Now that's about three and a half inches tall, the underbase, which looks great. Then you go to the actual chest itself. Now this Predator, at least visually seen it now, I don't see any of the like typical, I'm not even sure, the netting. Uh, yeah, I don't see any netting on here. Uh, you have this, which almost is like a netting. It's really just like a silver type look. And it's similar on this, just a little bit bigger on the chest plate. The detail on this armor looks awesome. You know, like all that, look at that like weathering different gold and brown, lots of different colors. I actually really like the costume of this Predator. I think it's one of the cooler ones, no doubt. And there is the gun. His gun is not huge, huge. You know, like I remember my Berserker Predator gun was double that size easily. Let me show you the light up function. You basically, it's two 
AAA batteries inside that you press this button and then boom, it actually is quite bright. So that's really cool, it includes that light up function. I don't know how often you'd use the one on the back, it's just like, you know, are you really gonna go back here and put your hand there to see a tiny light up that's covered by dreads? So I don't really understand that lighting, light up function, it's not really necessary. I do like the light up in the gun, I think that's really cool. It's three different lasers, uh, just like in the movie. So that's pretty cool. You know, you just press a button right there, which is not too inconvenient. Overall, the gun looks fantastic, very realistic. All throughout though, the armor looks very well done. Lots of really good detail. Great overall presence in this piece. I'm very impressed. Yeah, like this armor, just look at that. That's amazing. All that. You know, like, you can definitely tell he's been through some battles. Scratches. This could have been from an alien. There's almost looks like dried up blood from maybe past enemies he's fought. You got this gold shoulder type plate. Really overall just cool looking armor. The dreads are much more detailed than any other dreads I've seen. They have tons of texture work, even like this little part that holds the dreads together. So the dreads have tons of detail. They are sort of clumped together in some areas. Some are individually sculpted, others are sort of like clumped together, but it doesn't look that bad. Definitely a lot more detailed than any other Predator I've seen when it comes to dreads for a licensed piece. So the dreads overall look great and they dangle about that. They don't stick out too much from the base, just a little bit which is nice because then space-wise, you know, he is currently on a Stuva. And as you can see, he fits on there perfectly. You know, I have the base just touching there and his hair just goes to the very back. So Stuva is 19 inches deep. So you're going to want 19, 20 inches deep. Height, he's over 30 inches tall per the website. I haven't measured it, but it looks definitely 30, 32 inches tall. Let's check out this face now. So it has a lot of gloss along this area, not a ton on this, but mostly on the top part. Now it did come with extra like quivels or whatever the heck these are in case some break off, which is nice. I didn't see any breakages on mine looking at it. But overall the paint job looks fantastic. Now you got the brown and black. This is more like a classic type look. I do like the glossy effect they did on the forehead and the face. Almost like reptilian type skin here. Very cool, very nice paint job on the forehead. The teeth look amazing. They look sort of like acrylic teeth. You can see the mouth there. It looks like a translucent resin overall is what I'm gonna say. And that's why I think it has more of a lifelike effect than my old Berserker Predator, which was just a resin. So I think the translucent resin really plays well with a Predator piece. It gives it a much more lifelike effect, which looks awesome. Face looks awesome. Eyes look good, although I would have preferred glass eyes. I don't think they're terrible by any means. Glass eyes just have a better effect, obviously. It obviously would have increased the price though. Overall, the unmasked portrait looks awesome. Very, very cool. So, amazing presence as you can see. This is the centerpiece to this room. It's probably the biggest overall piece with the biggest presence now in this room. Now, I have taller pieces, but when it just comes to pure presence, this one definitely commands it when you're in the room. And I actually like how it's angled looking slightly to the right, so when I'm sitting down, he's looking directly at me. So that's super cool. Now let's go ahead and throw on this mask and see how that is. I still haven't tried it yet, so I don't know how difficult it is. So let's check that out. Alrighty, so went ahead and put the mask on. It was incredibly easy. It's a very strong magnet. It does have felt padding on the inside to prevent any type of damage, but it went on very seamlessly. No issues, took me two seconds really. But the mask looks super, super cool, no doubt. You can see it from this angle, how it looks. Now it does a pretty darn good job covering it, I'll say. 
I really like this Predator mask. I think it's one of the more cool looking Predator masks. And this does have a light up function. Uh, I believe it's, yeah, that button. So there it is. And we could turn this on so you could get a good look at all the light ups. So there is the total light ups outside of the back one, but that back one's really worthless. On the mask, you can see there is a little bit of red light up on each side actually. So four red little light ups, the green mask, and then the blue laser. So really cool light up features. I do like them. It, you know, it feels like there's a real predator in my room right now, especially the amount of detail in this. They really did a fantastic job and the presence is incredible on this. I definitely think uh, this is for me, the best licensed predator bust ever made, especially considering the fact you can remove the mask. You know, I've never actually seen a predator that's done this before where it has a removable mask like this when it comes to custom. They're always just the unmasked ones. You know, cause most people want the unmasks. There's so much cool detail in there. But that mask is super cool. Great detail, you know, along this gold, lots of weathering. See all that, the eyes look cool. These eyes are not the typical, almost like caged type eyes on a typical predator mask. They're more just like glass. It does have this right here, it almost looks like, <laughs> That, that just looks funny. I like it though. I think I think they did a great job on this. They really did. The mask looks like it's made of real metal. Uh, even though it's like lightweight, you know, obviously they don't want it too heavy, but it looks very realistic. You can see parts of the actual predator skin right here as well. So you can see the detail, the coloring of it. So it definitely has like a classic look but with a newer designed armor and mask. So for me, I actually really like this particular Predator. I loved how just awesome he was when he escaped the lab, how gruesome he was. He was like smart and just super cool. So I'm a big fan of this guy. The bust is definitely incredibly awesome and I do highly recommend it if you're a big Predator fan. This one is the regular edition. There is the Deluxe, which does come with an additional mask portrait that is battle damage with basically like three large scratches on the left eye. So I don't really care to have that. You know, if I'm not displaying this mask, then the only real place I can think to put it is just like on the ground or something. You know, they didn't include a mask display, which I would have liked if they did that, you know, include some sort of predator themed mask display because that really hinders it when you don't want to, you want to display the unmasked and you don't know what to do with the mask. So you generally want to display the mask. So that's the big qualm I would say is Prime One should have included a mask display stand. Something simple, maybe same like base design as the actual bust, maybe even with a little logo, but something simple to give you the option to display the mask next to it. Now they have given you the option to purchase uh, two arms, like a Shotokin, and then the typical like wrist blade hand. And they run about $550 plus shipping. Shipping's like 50 bucks. So $600, so 1200 in total if you wanted both. I don't plan to buy them. I don't think it's necessary. Plus, I don't have the display space next to it to even display it. I think it honestly looks kind of funny, though. I'm not a huge fan of having a random arm next to a bus. It just looks out of place. So I don't think those are necessary. But overall, uh, it's a fantastic bus. You can see it. You now, this is another Prime 1 bust, the Alien. So you can see it next to it, rough size. Let me know your thoughts. Do you prefer the masked portrait or the unmasked? I think they're both incredibly cool. And obviously, the unmasked has more overall detail, but the mask option looks really cool. I really like it. And it's so easy to take it on and off. You could display it every other day on and off if you wanted to. Granted, I won't do that. Overall, I would give this piece a 9 out of 10. I think it gets two dings for no display mask stand and no use of glass eyes. If they had done that, then it would be 
a 10 out of 10 piece. But due to the fact that is not included, it gets a 9 out of 10. I think everything else, the detail is outstanding. The armor is super cool. The face is really cool. I love the light up features, the base design. I mean, the whole design is just amazing. It's just those two little things. Now, the eyes are not horrible, but they're not perfect, and they're not comparable to, like, my Khaleesi or Pennywise bust, who have the acrylic eyes. But overall, yeah, it's a fantastic piece. I do highly recommend it. I think Prime One did a great job. Great centerpiece to my room, as you can see. I am waiting for Orgrim Doomhammer, who's going to go right up there in front of that poster. It's been in customs for over a week. This whole corona has delayed shipping so much. I've had stuff stuff shipped from China two months ago and then tracking just stopped working. So I'm just like, oh, what's going on here? Two months tracking was working, then it just stopped. Kind of thinking that package was now lost. But yeah, overall, I love this Predator bus. It's super, super cool. And I'm glad I got it. Now, I have thought, should I consider getting the one-fourth uh, Fugitive Predator, throwing it right there and moving him? Granted, I really like him there, but I do have the space there to move him and put the Fugitive Predator one-fourth there. I could potentially do it. That uh, one is shipping soon as well. I also could display the Sideshow Jungle Hunter Predator right there. Granted, different costume design, but it is a one-fourth Predator. I don't think I'll do that though, especially since I already have it in place and it's all earthquake puttied down. But that's it though, folks. Let me know your thoughts. What do you like better, the mass or unmasked portrait? Do you think I should consider the one fourth fugitive predator to go right there? And if I did, should I go with the deluxe for two? Not it's not even it's not really two hundred dollars more. It's uh, because it's not a the deluxe is only available on Sideshow's websites, not on retailers. And so if I went through Sideshow, there's $100 more in tax. So in reality, it's $300 more versus a retailer. Actually, probably $350 at least for an additional portrait, helmet, and gun hand. Now, the additional portraits, the same portrait as this, and the mask is the scratched mask. So I don't even know if I'd even display those. So I might just go with the regular if I do do it. And then I just move Balrog over there by my Hobbit section and then put the Fugitive Predator there. It's a consideration. I'm going to wait till it's in stock before I decide. Maybe see some in-hand picks and some videos. That's it, though, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.